Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. The level of hypocrisy and duplicity constantly exhibited by the APC and its leadership is astonishing. Sometimes I wonder if some of these people were created with any fiber of conscience. The things they say and do are the things they accuse others of saying and doing. In a recent tweet by the Twitter handle at Akakamfo, it says, any annulment of any politicians in Nigeria means full-blown chaos and the end of Nigeria as it stands. Not only that, it might lead to one of the bloodiest sectarian crises ever seen in the Global South. People will take sides, soldiers will take sides, politicians will take sides, and countries will take sides. It will be along religious and ethnic lines and that will be the end of Nigeria. The tweet added, for anyone to think the Yoruba people will tolerate the humiliation of Akintola, MKO, and the annulment of the 2023 elections would be a joke taken too far. For those calling for military takeover and annulment of elections because your kinsmen lost election, be careful of what you wish for or else you might be inviting the host of hell into an already messed up situation. Even a Ferris faction led by Adebanjo will run into exile once the drama starts. The tweet continued by saying, Yoruba people have been here before and this time, if any annulment takes place, it's bye-bye to Nigeria. This is the same tweet Femi Fanikayode tacitly endorsed by retweeting. By retweeting, he might have well said it himself. Who knows, perhaps it is him tweeting under a different handle. The write-up curiously sounds similar to some of the things that Femi Fanikayode has said in the past. Look. People are allowed to voice their opinion. Personally, I don't begrudge FFK or whoever wrote this for their opinion. They might well be right. The problem is, what would they have said and done if this statement was made by an obedient or any member of the opposition? Remember that T. Baba Ahmed's comment saying that if Tinubu is sworn in unconstitutionally, that democracy would have ended as we know it. What did the APC do? Femi Fanekayode led the charge to call for the arrest of not just Dati Baba Ahmed but also Peter Obi who said nothing. Lai Mohammed, the information minister under this APC government, went around the world calling Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed comments treasonous. Even Professor Wale Shoinka joined the fray, labeling Dati and the entire obedient movement as fascist. Yet, these same people, at least some of them, endorse a tweet calling for the end of Nigeria if a fraudulent election is annulled. What hypocrisy. Why is FFK not condemning this instead of retweeting it? That is, if he did not write it himself. Why is Lai Mohammed not seeing the treason in this threatening tweet? What about the revered prof? I would like to hear what Professor Shoinka has to say about this. I would like to hear what Professor Shoinka thinks of this threat to the whole of Nigeria. Anyways, that's all I have for you on this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please do not forget to subscribe. And as I said, always click on the notification icon so you can get more videos like this from me. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.